This is my top 10 comedy movie villains. Damn. Tom Cruise's Les Grossman from Tropic Thunder. I mean, who knew that Tom Cruise could rock out to Flo Rida like a boss? And you shall see. All right, you play ball? Les Grossman, the man who managed to combine dance moves, baldness, and an impressive collection of curse words into a symphony of comedy. Nine. Harry and Marv from Home Alone. They are the criminal masterminds who gave wet bandits a whole new meaning. <laughs> These guys couldn't even steal candy from a baby without slipping on a banana pill and ended up with feathers stuck to their faces. Eight. Dark Helmet from Spaceballs. With his oversized helmet and a serious case of height envy, Dark Helmet brings a whole new level of hilarity to the sci-fi genre. Plus, he's got the best combing technique this side of the galaxy. Seven. Eric Gordon from Billy Madison. Yes, Eric, Billy is going to have a stupid party every time he passes a grade. Deal with it. <laughs> this villain's facial expressions alone could probably power a wind turbine. Six. Leslie Chow from The Hangover. If Chaos had a spirit animal, it would be Leslie Chow, and it would probably be wearing shades and riding a stolen tiger. With his outrageous antics and absurd one-letters, he proves to be one of the great comedy movie villains of all time. Five. White Goodman from Dodgeball. This fitness fanatic with a fragile ego takes gym rivalry to a whole new level. I bet he uses protein shakes as a cologne and motivational posters as wallpaper. Four. Ernie McCracken from Kingpin. This larger than life bowling champ leaves a trail of one-liners and outrageous outfits wherever he goes. And let's not forget that hair. Seriously, it's a character of its own. Three. Shooter McGavin from Happy Gilmore. The golfer who all he really wants is a gold jacket, but will go to great lengths of evilness like taking Happy's grandmother's house to get what he wants. Two. Dr. Evil from the Austin Power series. The villain always looking to hold the world ransom for $1 million. But fortunately for him, always seems to be surrounded by Freaking idiots. Why? Mugatu from Zoolander. Yes, the villain who was probably taking crazy pills. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! But really never got the respect he deserved after inventing the piano key necktie. I invented the piano key necktie! The thing is, now that you know my top 10 best comedy movie villains, you're probably wondering what is my list of top 10 comedy movies. Well, you're in luck, because in this video about to pop up right here, I will give you my top 10 comedy movies of all time. Enjoy and stay classy.